In this video, we'll update user repository because, as I mentioned previously, we should not store our password in a plain text. So, as the first thing, let's navigate to user repository and let's inject our password encoder. So, right here, private vol encoder password encoder we will use the interface and as we implemented previously and by default the bcrypt password encoder will be used so whenever we set the password in our pre-populated list let's use the encoder encode function and let's pass our password to it let me copy that and do exactly the same for the second user update the password third user, update the password too. Excellent. Following we have our save method, so we need to update that. Instead of equal sign, I'll introduce a block, control plus X, copy it right here. And before we add the user, a new user to our collection, we must update the password. To do so, we'll use the copy function, which is Kotlin data classes feature. Well, updated equals user copy and the password i would like to set as encoder encode the value and right here put the raw password so user and let's read the password excellent of course i would like to return the boolean flag let me format a bit and instead of adding the user i would like to add the updated user with the encoded password so that later when we will be trying to authenticate our user then everything will be working as expected Control alt l and that's basically all for this short video in the next one we'll finally implement authentication filter